Hello, my friend. I just finished recording the section for my online course, Embody Vibrant Health, on how to control overeating. In terms of health, one of the things that people are really interested in is knowing how to lose weight. And sometimes we're simply having challenges losing weight because we are putting too much into our bodies, more than we need, or we're putting things in our bodies that just don't satisfy us, right? Have you ever noticed a moment where you ate something and you weren't hungry, but you just knew it'd be really, really fun and a great experience? And But have you also eaten things when you knew you had enough food and you knew that this thing wasn't going to sit well in your body or was going to cause more fat on your body than you wanted or feel is healthy? <laughs> so there's the controlling overeating. And as I was ending that, I realized it was one o'clock and it's time to do my weekly Facebook Live. What topic should I do? I hadn't quite figured that out yet today. It's been a busy morning. And then it just hit me though, when we think about overeating, and one of the things I mentioned is about emotional eating. And sometimes we are overeating just because it, it, makes, it feels wonderful and we're not feeling wonderful enough in other ways of our life. And if we control overeating, what we're also doing is creating a better life. But in reciprocal effect, if we are controlling our lives, we are taking charge and making our life go in the direction that we want, we're less likely to have emotional issues that need to be satisfied by overeating. So I thought I would give you a different spin in this video than what I did in the online course and to say, how do we control our lives? How do we really, really take charge uh, but for those of you who want to actually see what I mentioned more specifically about overeating, that is in the Embody Vibrant Health course. So if you go to healinghappensforyou.com, for you is spelled F-O-R-Y-O-U, and then go to the courses section, you'll see Embody Vibrant Health there. But here we are, we're going to talk about taking charge of our life. And clarity is going to be the key word here. It's getting really, really clear. Okay? The first step of getting really clear and what is the impact? So a lot of you have probably studied about the law of attraction. And if you go into an ice cream store and you say, I want ice cream. Now, your heart's actually craving chocolate, but vanilla is more popular there, so they give you vanilla. So really, really clear and communicating what it is we want so that we truly are getting what we want. But the next stage of this is to focus more on what we want than what we don't want. Because the mind doesn't register the don't, it focuses on that thing that we don't want. And, and so I was just noticing, you know, like some of my interactions and thinking, well, gosh, like I don't want more of these types of interactions. So I said, all right, well, what do I want? And I'm like, well, I would really love to know more people who are generous. And like literally after that thought, I opened up Facebook and somebody had posted in a group I just got invited into. Uh, does anybody else need help shoveling their driveway? I'm available all day. <laughs> I, I can come and I can shovel for you. And, and then I was thinking, well, and wouldn't it be great also to know more people who kind of have a lot of energy to give? Like they can really selflessly do it and, and they're just, they're generous, not just with their time, but you know, with their energy, with their spirit, kind of like what this gentleman was doing. And then a moment later, I looked out my window and I saw one of the members of the HOA, um, probably like the third time I've seen her outside shoveling in the last two days. Uh, so we have a team that's hired for our HOA to shovel and she's still out there helping them. And, and I could see like she was, she was just fine. She was so happy to help out. You know, there wasn't that frustration why aren't more people in this community helping? Like she really wanted to give and she, she didn't feel like a detraction in a certain sense um, because of over giving. 
Uh, so that was another level of generosity that I just really, really wanted to see, you know, in my vision and in my life. What are humans capable and how of and how many humans are capable of that, right? How do I surround myself more with that type of energy and embody more of that myself? Is thinking the thoughts more of what I want? So you're taking that time to get really clear on what you want and really clear what is going on in your mind. And one of my favorite ways to create that clarity or to create that space uh, to really notice what's there and make choice is through meditation. You guys know that I lead a lot of meditations and I create them around the challenges that are going on for you. So they're very specific to what you're working on. And if you want to join meditations with me, you can always check that out at avikalmiller.com slash members or just reach out to me directly to find out more. Um, then we're also going to work on overcoming our emotions that block us from that. So I'm going to retract a bit from what I was saying about the law of attraction. Um, because yes, you need to think about what you want in order to have what you want generally. That's how it works. Um, I don't want to say that there's always an exact science, but generally that's what's going to happen. But here's the deal. There might be something else for you to learn or feel or experience for not having what you want and experiencing more of that. So I don't want you to feel bad if you're not getting what you want and you're still thinking about what you don't want and getting wrapped up in that. Um, because when you're done, you're going to be done. And one of the things that helps get through that faster is the linguistic programming. So you can always reach out to me if you want to learn more about you know, what we can do to break through those emotions. But I loved it. You know, this client of mine, he came to me a few months ago and he's like, you know, I'm attracting women who just really don't want to go for it and, and stand up to the level that I'm at. And now he's in this wonderful relationship with this great woman. And these are the type of breakthroughs that we can get in order to manifest what we really want and get ourselves out of the thinking and the emotions that aren't supportive. Um, but be patient with yourself and work through what you need to to get to that level of clarity. So it's kind of like taking the dirt off of a stained glass window. And then um, the last thing is to create a plan. And a plan comes into your, like exactly what do I want in life? But even in going into discussions that you're going to have, you know, conversations and just making sure that you're informed, that you know what's going on, like setting your intention before anything you do. Um, I, I think when we're more educated and, and we understand more layers of ourselves and other people, then it's much easier to follow through with a plan and in a moment of, of stress sometimes it's hard to think as well so when you create the plan in the easy moments then it's going to be easier in the harder moments uh, so have that plan for you um, so give yourself that space to create clarity to create the plan and to release any of that dirt on the beautiful stained glass window that you are and please remember to comment and share what's coming up for you from this video. And if you find it helpful to share it with other people so that they can use these tips in order to manifest more of what they want to take charge of in their life. Have a wonderful rest of your day.